So I'd like to take you through the garden today and show you my chickens and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So we'll start here with the green stock vertical garden. I think I planted this in October for my chickens so they would have something nice and green to eat through the winter and it has been working fabulously. I have been picking little kale leaves here and there all through the fall and then I also have a little bit of dill in here, one of my favorite herbs but it dies when it gets really cold. So so I've kind of been protecting this green stock with a frost cover that they sell on their website and it's been working great. So down here are the chickens and the little chicken tractor. I've been moving it around regularly. So the chickens are doing great and I usually like to feed them these little leaves right here in the crack uh, of the chicken run. And so right now I'm moving the tractor about every two days because they are the chickens are big enough now to where they'll just scratch up all of the grass and loosen it up real nice and eat everything so I have to move it and I showed y'all in my um, ch chicken tractor video how I plant grass and I'll get into that in just a minute too now the biggest problem I've had uh, is just trying to keep predators away from my chickens you know I only have three so I have to protect them I can't let them just run around in the yard um, we have hawks in the area that could easily swoop down and get a chicken. Of course, there are other predatory birds. Um, we have turkey vultures, which don't carry away their prey, is my understanding, but they will, if a chicken's sickly or something, they will come down and eat it. <laughs> so, um, and also we have raccoons. I caught one on camera last month in the middle of the night trying to get or figure out a way to get inside the little coop there and it was a pretty big rascal I'll tell you um, so I have to be very diligent and make sure I am securing these little chickens every night and letting them out every morning and when it's really cold outside I do not like getting up at the crack of dawn and running out and letting my chickens out but hopefully within about another couple of months at least they'll start laying some wonderful eggs so that's what I'm looking forward to one of the chickens has just turned five months old and that's the cream leg bar she's a light colored chicken and the other ones are about a month younger than her so since it's been real cold I don't know that I'll get eggs until spring anyway um, so what I've been doing I showed y'all this in my last uh, chicken tractor video um, I've been you know when I move the tractor I rake out the thatch that's built up in the lawn and I plant new grass as you can see here from above the new grass looks great now this was in the summer when all the weeds are green too but now here in the late fall and in the early winter the weeds have succumbed to the cold weather so they're brown and yellow uh, however I've been planting this tall fescue and of course it's staying nice and green so that is my goal as I move this tractor around um, this is what the ground looks like right now uh, the chickens, you know, they scratch up the ground real good. It's nice and loose. And then I take a thatch rake and just run it across. And this pulls out all the old dead and dying weeds. Like we have a lot of crabgrass in our yard. We have a lot of something called Creeping Charlie. And that's just from years and years of buildup of grass clippings. Um, no nutrients can get down to the root of the real grass that's supposed to be there. So my job is what I'm doing is every time I move the tractor, I just rake out this thatch and I put it in the compost pile. And this is real good too because it's where the chickens have been you know for a couple of days so they've done their thing on the thatch and so I just put that in a compost pile and after I've raked out the thatch this is what's left very little grass and then of course I'm putting out grass seed but I can't do that right now because it's really too cold for the seed to germinate so in the spring I'll reseed this whole area where I've dug out the thatch and it really has been just a beautiful morning. This is Saturday morning, December 14th. It's about 10:45 oh, and around 52, 53 degrees Fahrenheit and nice and breezy. So I'll just walk through the garden here real quick and show you what has been growing and it has survived some really, really cold temperatures with really just a frost cloth at this point. Um, we had, I think, I think we got as low as 18 degrees one night in November. Um, so this is the arugula, which is 
so wonderful. I just love arugula. It's a very strong flavor. So if you haven't ever had arugula, you might not like it, but I, I do enjoy it. And then back here, we have some turnip greens. These are called seven top turnip greens growing really well. And then just some cilantro and dill. Dill is taking a hit pretty good from all the cold weather um, and then spinach which will be beautiful in the spring a lot of these vegetables that I'm showing you will survive uh, this cold winter through January February even under a blanket of snow or even 12 inches of snow and um, it will survive and they will grow wonderful in the spring it's almost like I already have most of my spring garden planted <laughs> and then now this is romaine lettuce it's looking pretty bad uh, we'll just have to see how that does last year uh, it did okay through the winter for me and sprung back in the spring and the parsley took a pretty good hit from the frost but it's hanging in there and then just some carrots and the tarragon um, lavender and sage that I planted in the I think it was in September they're doing just fine and then back here I have broccoli along with some cabbage I took the little greenhouse off just so uh, the bed could get some nice natural sunlight um, that little greenhouse has blown all over my neighborhood it always ends up in a, the neighbor's yard it just like flies away with the with the wind so I really need to start securing that down um, and so the broccoli here is not going to head up however from my experience uh, this will start to produce some side shoots in the spring and I'll have a lot of little broccoli florets and so for that reason I am not pulling this out okay um, it will be beautiful in the spring if it does performs the same way it did last year for me and then Chinese cabbage and then more Chinese cabbage over here and some a lot of cilantro and then this little uh, head of cabbage here I will probably just pull that out it looks like it's headed up as much as it's going to and I saw a wonderful recipe online for a cabbage soup that used things like pork ribs and caraway seed in it leeks it looked really good so I'm going to have to try that recipe I'll leave a link for you guys if you want to look at it too and then just some chives uh, looking pretty bad those will die back and then come back in the spring for me and then over here are my blueberry bushes of course nothing is on the blueberry bushes right now so I'll make sure to leave links down below of supporting videos that help explain how I grow a lot of what I'm showing you if you're new to my channel um, down here in my garage um, I have my lemongrass and golongal I pulled all these out this morning so that they could get some natural sunlight they just get hardly any sunlight in the garage uh, and I'm just always amazed that they even survive because it's almost they're in there almost five months out of the year five or six months um, and then this is the Meyer lemon tree and it is loaded with blooms this uh, little tree is never predictable uh, it has always been this way it produces when it wants to so sometimes in the winter I have a lot of lemons and sometimes it's in the summer and then of course this is my kaffir lime tree now what I might do here since I have some limes on my tree I thought I might try to sell about three of these on eBay I'm not real sure yet I I haven't quite figured out shipping but if you live in the US you can check my eBay account and see if I list these online I thought I might sell a lime and then just cut off a branch which will have anywhere from about five to six leaves on it and then I can um, just sell those on eBay and I just like I said I haven't figured out shipping and how I would do that but if you want to follow me over on my eBay you can go to the link I provide below uh, to just some seeds that I'm selling now and you'll go off to the right and click save this seller and once you've done that you can go to your eBay and you'll click up at the top my eBay and then you'll scroll down to summary and then off to the left go to your summary and click on saved sellers and over there you will be able to see my account and you can click view sellers items and that will just show you what I'm selling now I don't always just sell seeds or uh, limes and gardening things over there sometimes I'll sell children's books clothing that kind of thing you know you just hit or miss when you're on eBay <laughs> so anyway that's where you can find if I am going to sell those um, limes so there you go if you have any questions please leave them down below the video I'll be more than happy to help you and thank you so much for watching y'all have a beautiful day